Well, today, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call joined a coalition of 42 attorneys general throughout the country in suing Meta in federal and state courts. For Susan Nines, National Mensal has more on how social media addiction can be harmful to kids and teens. The social media network Meta is being sued for addictive features that are allegedly targeting kids. Child and family therapist with Gunderson Health System, Jeff Ryland, explains that social media addiction can be dangerous for kids. With people that develop an addictive process, an addictive behavior to social media, they have difficulties not being on it. And in, in the case of children and teenagers, is it getting in the way of them going to school, getting their homework done, participating in sports, doing the things at home they do as part of the family? Ryland also has advice for parents to help prevent their kids from social media addiction. I think it helps for parents and teens to have a conversation about that rather than parents just in an authoritarian way just going out and taking it out. For younger children, it's always best to not even start until they're much older and able to handle it. According to Ryland, being on social media for long periods of time can have long-term effects on children. There are certainly studies that have pointed out that when young children are exposed to excessive amounts, three, four, five hours of screen time, it may actually delay their development, the language development, cognitive development, emotional development. Chloe Gale works with kids at the Good Fight Community Center in La Crosse and says that access to social media can make things hard for children's mental health. I think when you're really young, you're very impressionable. And so when it comes to social media, you see so much online about, um, or just like you see so many other people's lives and it's easy to become envious of the way those people live or to compare yourself because like you're very, like I said, the young kids are very impressionable. So when I was younger, you know, if I had had all the social media access the way that we do now, I think I would have really struggled with my self-image. If you are concerned about your child's mental health, Ryland says to contact your primary care provider to get connected to resources like therapy. In La Crosse, Dasha Mensel, First News at 9. A federal complaint joined by 33 states and filed in U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California alleges that Meta knew of the harmful impact of its platforms, including Facebook and Instagram, on young people. Now, nine additional attorneys general are filing lawsuits in their own states. And the Federal Trade Commission is planning to hire extra help to guide its efforts to regulate social media companies. The FTC Democratic Commissioner says the agency plans to bring on child psychologists. Officials say the move would help the commission get expert advice on how social media may affect users' mental health, as well as the impact of dark patterns. The agency is reportedly hoping to hire child psychologists by next fall. The FTC has put an emphasis on safeguarding children when they go online.